Ida B. Wells was born July 16, 1862, in Holly Springs, Mississippi. She was one of seven children born to James and Elizabeth Wells. Both of her parents were enslaved. James was a carpenter and Elizabeth a cook. After the Emancipation Proclamation, her parents became advocates for the progression of blacks during the Reconstruction era. During her youth, Ida B. Wells attended school up to the age of 16. In 1878, while away at her grandmother's home, a yellow fever epidemic struck her hometown, killing both her parents and her infant brother. And at the age of 16, she took up the responsibility of looking after her siblings and began teaching to support the family. In the early 1880s, she moved to Memphis and continued teaching while also attending Fisk University and Le Moyne Institute during the summers. During a train ride on May 4, 1884, Wells was ordered by a conductor to give up her seat and move to the smoking car. Having bought a first-class train ticket, she refused and was forcibly removed from the train. She later sued the railroad company and won a $500 settlement. However, the verdict would later be overturned by the Tennessee Supreme Court. After the incident, Wells began writing under the pen name Lola and documented the social conditions blacks faced in the South. She soon bought a share of the Memphis paper, the free speech and headlight, and began writing full time. In 1892, three of Ida's friends who owned a local grocery store were lynched by a white mob. Because of so, Wells began an editorial campaign condemning and documenting the lynchings of African Americans throughout the South. She published her findings in a pamphlet entitled Southern Horrors, Lynch Law in All Its Phases. She continued publishing editorials, persecuting lynchings, and her office was eventually ransacked and destroyed. Wells was traveling to New York at the time, but was warned that she would be killed if she returned. Due to the threat on her life, Wells decided to stay up north and continued her lynching campaign. She began writing for the New York Age and traveled the U.S. giving lectures and even visited Great Britain. In 1893, she, Frederick Douglass, and other black leaders organized a black boycott of the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago for its failure to collaborate with the black community. In 1895, she married Ferdinand L. Barnett, a Chicago lawyer, editor, and public official. They would later have four children together. That same year, she also published a red record, which further examined lynchings in America. Continuing her social and political activism, Wells formed the National Association of Colored Women in 1896. Two years later, she took her anti-lynching campaign to the White House and led a protest in Washington, D.C., calling for President William McKinley to make reforms. In the first decade of the 20th century, Wells helped found the National Association for Advancement of Colored People. She also founded and became the first president of the Negro Fellowship League, an organization that aided newly arrived blacks from the South. And in 1913, she founded the Chicago Alfred Suffrage Club. Wells later retired and began writing her autobiography, Crusade for Justice, in 1928. Ida B. Wells was a civil rights activist, journalist, and educator, and one of the most famous women in American history.